This is a 2013 Nissan Sentra. All right, 2013 Nissan Sentra. Uh, problem customer is having is it is slipping. And it slips at between between 35 to 40 mile an hour, 45 mile an hour on here. Now the CVT should go up steady as you apply pressure. And I'm going to keep my foot on the accelerator so that it can constantly keep pressure on it so it doesn't, so the RPMs hopefully don't go down. I want to keep a steady, I guess you would say, upward pressure. I guess this would it say. All right, let's see. Get on, on this thing here. might be able to see on this side the RPMs as it goes up I keep my foot steady going down down so it doesn't really variate and keep climbing and you should see that needle when it slips Jumped up quickly and then stopped. Come to a stop. Got a car coming here. Try it again. Here we go. Try to hold it up at 3,000 RPMs as I constantly climb. put less pressure on it then it um, slips at a higher uh, speed over there so let's try again just slip right there now that was variating and it, here it comes there it went right there slipped and that was around 40 some mile an hour okay now I'm going to track this slipping on the graph I have the engine speed signal vehicle speed and the output speed that is to show how this looks on a graph looking at the engine RPM Alright, so right now I have the engine speed, the vehicle speed, and output speed. The engine RPM is the blue line, the vehicle speed is the green line, and the output speed is the red line. Uh-oh, this thing turned off on me. Why do that? Alright. So, 
as I start to run the vehicle and output speed is going to go up that's how a um, and it shouldn't be a shift if I const put apply constant pressure on accelerator it should steady keep going up um, so let's see what happens and you darn come somebody let me let them go by don't worry about that okay we're gonna start over All right, here it goes look at that red line and the blue line they steady going up there was the slip right there and you see those two humps and that was in the engine RPM speed. Now the reason the RPM is going down, the CVT is steady go rising up, the RPM is going down because the transmission is doing its job at that point, releasing the pressure off of the engine. But those two humps, those were the slip. It went up and down, up and down. Okay, I, I'm stopped. I'm gonna do it again. Raise an accelerator up. And it goes slip right there. Wait. The RPMs is showing that there was an issue right there. There was a slip. Okay, now I'm going to try to look. Right now I'm looking at the vehicle speed and I'm looking at the output speed. Now I'm going to try to look at the variators and see what happens there if it can represent the slip there. Actually, I would like to look at the input speed sensor and the output speed sensor. I have to find that on this CVT. Okay, the scale for the secondary is the red one, for the primary is the green, and the engine RPM is the blue. As I start to move, the, in, the green primary start to go up, and so does the secondary, just a bit. I stop and they go back down. Just waiting for these cars to get past me. Got a big truck coming. go on up green primary shoots up and the red is secondary is tracking it when you get to that slip you'll notice it there was the slip right there and where those triangles are both primary and secondary slipped at the same time okay with a CVT it shouldn't have this slip. It shouldn't have that sharp spike, especially when you're not um, jumping on and off of the accelerator. It should have a smooth upward track, and it didn't do that. Okay, we're gonna do it again. I stopped, now I'm gonna move. Okay, it's going up, both of them. The green and the red, pay attention to it. When it slip. There's the slip, the sharp spikes right there. OK, 
okay. I'm gonna come to a stop. And it's only doing that at 40 mile an hour, okay. Now I'm at a stop. I'm gonna try it again. goes a slip. Those humps are all the same. Then it goes down to a different gear ratio. I'm going to try one more time. Stop. About to go. slips. Not a clean upward graph. All right, again, does it at about 40 miles an hour. I'm going to head on to the shop. I'll try to do a little faster. Come to a stop and then see what it do. A little bit more pressure on there. So obviously somewhere around 40 mile an hour this is having this issue between you know 35 to 50 I would say. Alright, I'm gonna stop. What I'm looking at is the engine signal and the primary speed signal. The red secondary line is steady rising. There's the slip right there. It slipped and and is moving up again. All right, so this is how we see on the graph when that CVT is having a slip because it shouldn't have that sharp triangle there. It should have a steady upward rise in the pattern of the graph and it doesn't do that. So we're going to have to take this transmission out. <laughs> 